so uh <clears throat> let's get in some uh movie tv talk uh so you watch fair die neighbor it was about <laughs> the a neighbor what he, he was a street guy well i took it he was like a, a street guy street guy meaning like not a thug or selling drugs or anything it's like you know hip you know street street smart type of guy uh he was working late at night and he befriended his neighbor. He just knocked on the door, quote unquote, knocked on the door on a humbug because she was up at night watching te- television. So they got friendly with each other. He starts asking her for money. So he uh, kept, a- oh, he's married too, by the way. He's over this woman's house late at night. They just sat up and talked. Shorty did. And uh, she had, her husband had left her. So I guess she was depressed and, and lonely or whatever. They befriended each other. He starts asking her for money because he that he was the type of guy to be asking everybody for money and all that stuff. So he, he asked her for money for so much she got tired of it. She killed him, cut him up, put his head in a pot. Right, it was the pot that was cooking when the cops showed up. Mm-hmm. It was his head in the pot, cut him into like a different pieces and left his body scattered. Uh, I you skipped it. over a whole bunch of the details. So my Go man ahead. was getting. My man was scamming and he was getting a check, but he couldn't open up a bank account. So he asked his neighbor, is she going to, can he use her bank account so she can get direct deposit? He couldn't open up a direct deposit. I guess his credit was too bad or whatever. Mm-hmm. So she said she agreed to let him use her bank account for his direct deposit. And he would pay her $100 after every check. But then once he got the uh, debit card, he would go over his money and, and spend it into her money to to the point when it's in red, and now she owe uh, overdraft fees and shit. Right. And I I took it that uh, you can already tell that the woman was troubled and everything. I look, I took it because I say he's like a street smart guy. I think he treated her like he already seen that she was a mark. Like, oh shit, I can get her. And the wife who, I don't understand why in the hell she was, she was on this show doing an interview. Because she was all involved with it, too. Exactly. She was all involved with it, too. Like I say, he's coming home late at night, okay? Now, he's going through the house, you know, ruffling, you know, ruffling in the house, you know, putting your coat down and getting something out the refrigerator. You know, it's regular stuff. You mean to tell me this woman laying in bed and never heard that stuff? And so when he shuts the door back again and goes over the house, you mean she didn't hear it? I thought he was going over the neighbor house first before he came home. He get off of work, grab a six pack or case, go right over her house, party it up, and then come home. No, they made it seem like he was going over. He was going home first, cause remember right. when he had the drink in his hand and he looked over across the street and he seen that she was up. You know the TV uh, lights mm-hmm. was going on, and he left the house and then he yeah, said, that "Hey, the first, look. that was the first day." But I'm talking about on a regular, he would leave work and go straight to her crib. Well, the first day she couldn't. She didn't hear them. She didn't hear him leaving the house. She heard all that shit. She was part of the scam. Just like when uh she started giving him a ride to work every day, even though he got a car. Talking about my wife need a car. I need you to give me a ride. Right. And his wife was cool as that. So you're spending nights over this dude how uh, over your neighbor house drinking all night. Now she's giving you a ride home. Yeah, okay. Her, his yeah. wife was part of the scam. Yep. And she just acting like dumbfounded. No, she mm. was all in cahoots. And how about when he came and he started buying the, the kids Jordans? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> another person that shouldn't have did the show was the was the uh, son. Well, it was it would have been his stepson. Uh, he should have never did the interview neither because every time he talked, he had this little smirk on his face. Well, she did too. See, on his side, I chalked it up as like nervous, nervous, uh, uh, uh the nervous smirk look. Yeah, I thought he was slow, so he ain't know no better. <laughs> He was like, yeah, he had bought his Jordans. He had a big old smile on his mm-hmm. face. Yeah, they all they all a scamming family. They remember when up. remember she used to uh, run over there and be yelling outside his house, and he come out the house and she arguing at him. He took all my money, this and that. Why his wife ain't get involved in that? Because she knew. Yeah, and and not just that. Okay, let's 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 just say for argument's sake, she went home when the when the uh, when the woman the neighbor did that. Your neighbor's going to hear it. Mm-hmm. Your neighbor's going to hear it, and the neighbor's going to tell her, yeah, she was over there arguing with your husband about, you know, such and such. You owe my, me money, and, and I'm short and all that stuff. So she's going to know. Trust me. So, she like, they, that's good, though. Yeah. They all in cahoots with each other. That's why, that's what we always say. 
Don't take advantage of people because you don't know what people are capable of. This woman didn't cut that man's head off and put it in the pot. Well, she told the cops when they came, but they ain't, they, they took it as her, you know, sarcasm and she just talking shit. Mm -hmm. She was dead serious. He in my kitchen cooking. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And he was literally cooking. I had his head, <laughs> damn head in the pot boiling when the cops was right there. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, another thing, okay, her kids were like, what, about what? Young teenagers, 13, 14. 14. Okay, so the, the woman house is a mess and the kids weren't taking care of themselves, washing up and everything. So you mean to tell me that these kids ain't never said nothing to anybody how mom was living? They never told Well, the, a lot of school ain't say nothing. When they come into school and they all, you know, smelly and stuff and dirty and they they hungry, just somebody at the school should have stepped up. But instead, they just got picked on in school. Right. The aunt, the aunt didn't know. So you mean to tell me the kids didn't tell the aunt that their mom is not uh not cleaning and the house looking mess and all that stuff? I, I just thought that was a strange one right there. Like they just sitting there just going with the flow, huh? Mm -hmm. And I can see if these was little kids and they didn't say anything, but these are damn teenagers. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, I didn't. That was kind of uh, well, strange. Have you ever watched the uh... What is it called? Uh, hoarders. It'd be the same shit. They living in squalor and all fucked up and got, ain't got no food, but they still go to school and don't tell no, their friends like how they living. Right. Well, did you watch? Uh, Y'all didn't watch Married at First Sight, right? No. Okay. Anything else TV related? Mm, nothing I can think of. Uh, same here. I've been um, still watching. Uh, we in the second season of, uh, what is it called? For Life? Yeah. Yeah, so that's almost over. How many seasons is it? Three, right? There's only two. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, anything else? Uh -uh. Um, anything movie related? Movies. I haven't really been watching anything recently. None I can think of. Uh, uh, same here. I haven't looked at any uh any movies. Uh, I haven't really looked at anything TV related. I didn't even look at low key uh yet. Um, What's that? Low key. Loki, uh, the Marvel character, Loki, the word Loki. Oh, Loki. Yeah. Why are you talking some Loki? Loki, ain't that how you pronounce it? Now you saying it right. Before you didn't say that. You you made it seem like it was two words, like L O W K E Y. Uh, K E Y. I'm like, what the fuck is you talking about? Uh, oh, I'm I am looking at that uh that uh Lawman Bass. Uh, I forget the name of the, the full yeah, name. Yeah, I was talking about the. Uh, the black uh cowboy with you. Yeah, that they say that that was the uh the the uh inspiration for the Long Ranger. Oh, it was? Yeah, that's what they say. He was the inspiration for the Long Ranger. Um, so far so good. I watched the second episode up to the second episode. I didn't see the one the the third episode uh this week. Um, so far so good. But I, I think. Uh, they should have got another. They should have got another uh, person for the role mm -hmm. because uh, you know he's British and sometimes he'll say stuff that don't the sound accent. right. Right, right. He'll say something. He's covering up. He got a little Southern accent going on, but he'll say something sometimes. Like when he's like in like uh, like hollering or something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, you can see that like something ain't right here. Mm -hmm. But other than that, he's a good actor. Though, but I think he's it should have been played by an American born, uh, American born, uh, dude. But they taking all the rules, right? Th that's the only negative I can say when it's exciting and everything. You're like, well, what the hell is going on here? His accent, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, they was talking about uh, movies in uh, the barbershop they had on uh, Extinction, is it called a, no Extraction? And they were talking about how that's one of the best action movies. I haven't seen it, it's one and two. It's like, you watch one, you're gonna watch the second one. What's that? Who's in it? It's uh the same dude that plays Thor. He's like oh oh they, they were like something. they were like Netflix uh movies. I think they were Netflix movies. I think um, the second one was. I thought the first one came out. Oh, so the first one was a theatrical, and the second one was yeah. Netflix. Yeah. Oh, okay. But the dude no. said those yeah. are like the best action movies he ever seen. No. Okay. And they had it on, and then we put on what's the name? What is it? Outside the Wire. And that looked pretty good too, but I was like, I'm not gonna be to pay attention to this. I'll maybe I'll watch it at home. What's that? 
They got uh Damson Idris and then aboard as the uh Falcon. Uh-huh. And they're like uh soldiers. Uh the dude, what's his name? Uh oh, oh, that that's also another Netflix movie. I seen that. Yeah, it was oh, like was it good. Yeah, yeah. It's like an android and shit. Yeah. It looked decent and they had it on, but I was like, I'm not gonna pay attention to this. I'm just trying to get up out of here. Yeah, it's a uh, watchable. It came out. Um, I want to say during the pandemic time, if I'm not mistaken. Mm-hmm. It came out on Netflix. I think it was supposed to be a theatrical release, but you know that time they weren't half mm-hmm. the movie theaters weren't open. I, I and it came out there. Yeah, I seen that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, it, it's it's watchable. You can watch it, but I haven't seen the uh, extraction one though. An extraction, and you can tell it's action packed. As soon as it came on, the motherfuckers getting blasted. Yeah. Um. What else? Uh. Trying to think of anything else TV related that I watched. Uh, I haven't seen any movies. Um. Uh. That's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Yeah. Did you Did you see the slap fight? Uh. TV. The The uh, Power Slap TV show. No, I remember you said it was coming on. When I turned to it, I thought it was going to be an event. I didn't know it was going to be like uh, the real world check during the uh, season. Yeah, it's like the Ultimate Fighter with uh, instead of they're fighting the ring, they're slapping each other. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I was speaking of Power Slap, uh, what's our boy, um, the one that you always talk about, the one that uh, he's black, but he got that uh, the the stuff in his ear. He got the uh, big thing in his, um, you know how you stretch your earlobe? Mm-hmm. What is his name? Oh, I forget his name. Is he uh, black? No, he, he's not black, is he? Yeah, yeah, they say that he was the like the only black guy in his neighborhood or something like that. Uh, it, he needs to lose. He needs to go to a different weight class because that weight class is too big for him. I forget his name. Yeah, I know you're talking about. I don't think he's black. He might be mixed or something. Uh, yeah, that that he need to drop his uh, to a weight class because um at that weight class they gonna kill him the way they be slapping him. You could just look at his body and just tell that he ain't for this weight class. He just just a, a, a he just got weight on him. Mm-hmm. But those other guys they don't look like like he do. So if he lose weight and drop down to another weight class, he be he be all right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So anything else? Uh, let me see. Nothing I can think of. Uh-uh, I ain't got nothing. All right, y'all. You can reach us on Facebook, Twitter, and TikTok, and subscribe to our YouTube at PNL Judgmentals, Instagram at the two underscores Judgmentals, or you can email us at PNL Judgmentals at gmail dot com. All right, Philip, and uh, happy Thanksgiving to everyone out there because we won't be uh Thanksgiving to pass before we get back on. <laughs> All right, y'all. Peace out. All right.